And you can see more of Chris Norman later this month at Grace Community Church. Well, we speak a lot of Jesus' death on the cross during this season because it is a good news of salvation, the sacrificial lamb. But even more than just the forgiveness of our sins, his death gave us access to God unlike ever before. Where there was before a barrier between us and God, there is now an open door. Where there is a curtain separating us from the throne room, we are now invited to be directly in the presence of God. In his latest teaching, Bill Harris talks about the access we have to our Creator and what it means for our daily walk with God. Bill, let's talk about something that we really take for granted, I think, often um, in the society and the way that we've been raised in the church, which is the divine access we have to our Savior and to our Creator, mm -hmm. something that has not always been there. That's true. When you look at Old Testament times, that what the priests had to go through, I mean, once a year going into the temple to offer a sacrifice and he was in God's presence. And of course, if he was not living a holy, righteous life, he, life, he would be struck dead right there inside right. the Holy of Holies. But now uh, when Christ drew his last breath and said it is finished, across town there was, a, there was an earthquake and across town the veil inside the temple that separated where the presence of God was in the Holy of Holies and the outer court, that veil was torn in two. So there became great significant access to God other than just that priest once a year. Mm -hmm. Now the Spirit of God dwells on the inside of us and we have a marvelous life because of it. Right. So what does that mean for us? Well, that, that means in terms of the access that you can be anywhere and drop down on your prayer bones, as I often <laughs> say, and, and be in communication with God. I mentioned in the message how that when I was in television news, uh, I used to go to the White House once in a while. And there you're before the, the leader of the free world. And there's a lot of checks that you have to go through, security checks, obviously, yeah. to get into the White House. And so it takes some doing. But quicker than you can get in the White House, Zach, if you drop down on your prayer bones, you are ushered in to the throne room for an immediate audience, immediate audience with the creator of the universe. You mm -hmm. talk about direct access to the creator of the universe. The angels usher you into that. And that's the clout that we have in heaven that we yeah. don't even realize or sometimes we don't even use to its full capacity. Well, let's take it back one real quick, one moment and look at what it exactly took for us to, to be given that access. You reference in your teaching Matthew 27, 50, which says, then Jesus shouted again, dismissed his spirit and died. Yeah. And look, the curtain secluding the holiest place that you were just talking about in the temple was split apart from top to bottom. The earth shook and yeah. the rocks broke. And that, 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 that's when that veil, which was separating the, uh, the presence. Which was no God. small, small curtain. No, it wasn't. About. This yeah. isn't a, a lightweight curtain. It was. isn't. When you <laughs> run the research on that, you know, I used to think it was a little sheer right, thing. Right, right, right. But you run the reference on it. It's a very thick one. And I, I do know, but just can't remember how thick it is. Uh -huh. But there, there, that is symbolic of God's desire to get to us and, to, and for us to have access. It's, it's, it's like God will move heaven and earth to get to the very people he mm. created. Isn't this marvelous? Fascinating. The, 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 it's, it's a mystery, the kind of love that he has for us, to be willing to give his own son so that his own creation could have a relationship with him. Phenomenal. Yes, it is. So what would you say, how do, how do we speak to those who maybe aren't comfortable approaching God? Maybe just prayer life has not been something they've grown up yeah. with. The idea of access to a divine creator is kind of out there a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah. How do we approach that? Is, is it just that simple? What you don't do is say that, well, I'm afraid if I go to God, he's going to be standing there waiting with a baseball bat uh, to club me down right. and say, you know, it's about time you got here. Right, right. He's not going to be that way at all. He's going to have open arms to welcome you. And he is so loving and so forgiving. He's just glad for the mere fact that you took the time to come to him. And the thing I read one author say once is that when you, when you take that access and you go into his presence, then you begin to realize how wonderful it is. Mm. It leads you to go back again and again and again. It kind of feeds on itself. Right. Before you know it, you've got a real habit built up here. And I tell people, Relate to it in terms of your body clock. If you're a morning person, that's a good time to go to him. Yeah. If you're a nighttime person, if you're a night owl, maybe that's your best time to really spend quality time with him. Use your body clock. Right. Well, we referenced a few weeks back discussing the alone time needed to spend with God. And this goes lo right alongside yeah, that. Yeah. And good advice there that you mentioned about taking the time of day that is maybe best for you. But how true is it that people are going to see a change in their lives, that they take that time to spend with God and take that access that they have 
you're going to gain an inner peace yes. and it's going to affect your outer life as That's well. That's the key right there, I think, Zach, is that the inner peace is what helps you. It doesn't mean that you won't have any more problems right. in life, but this inner peace is what's going to give you the strength to go through those problems and you maintain your own sanity because you, that, that peace of God surpasses all mm -hmm. understanding. And that's what we really need to help us to cope in day-to-day -day life, the peace and the direction of God.